Now, look, the worst thing about Kevin Rudd being appointed as Australia's ambassador to the US is that we now have to show you what he's doing and saying again. I mean, here's a bloke who used to be Prime Minister, yet he's happy now taking a job where he has to take instructions from the Foreign Minister, Penny Wong, one of the politicians who knifed him as PM, and, of course, from his old mate Anthony Albanese, who, it must be said, was always loyal to him. Still, apparently Rudd is happy with this new arrangement, even taking to social media to preview a visit to the White House. Well, hi, folks. Here we are in Washington, D.C. This place is called Blair House. That's kind of the receiving room before you head over to that place over there, called the White House, to present your credentials to the president. So Therese and I are off uh, to uh, do our duty and we should be finished anytime soon. Now, note that book in Rudd's hand. It appears to be a copy of his latest book on China. Anyway, he presented his credentials to the president, as all new ambassadors do, and afterwards gave us lots of words without saying too much. Well, uh, this was an introductory call in the presentation of credentials. So um, we didn't get uh, down into a whole lot of detail. Uh, of course, um, uh, I mentioned the fact that uh, I'd be working with his administration on China policy questions. That's uh, almost a statement of the obvious. Well, I guess Rudd didn't need to say much about China because I'm guessing he handed over a signed copy of his book. Imagine being the poor staffer assigned to reading that for the president. Sadly, we'll hear more from our man in Washington and I'm tipping it won't be smooth sailing. And just on China... What about Mark McGowan, the Western Australian Premier, who's there at the moment? Last night we showed you how he was bagging coalition frontbencher Andrew Hastie's views on China. In other words, in his efforts to impress, McGowan was effectively undermining our relations with Beijing. Well, today he's suggested an Australian National Cabinet meeting in China. This is a bloke who refused to attend National Cabinet in Canberra because he was so paranoid about catching COVID from other premiers. But now he wants a meeting in China. What a try-hard. I mean, yeah, the meeting would be able to discuss highly sensitive stuff in China, wouldn't it? Perhaps they could discuss the origins of the COVID virus. Or maybe if he's worried about catching the Wuhan flu, McGowan could dial in on TikTok. He should have stayed home for the eclipse.